So Last Epoch has gotten a new trading system. I'll watch the video about it and take a look at it. Hi, this is Randy here with another video and with Last Epoch on the horizon. We're about to look and discuss and uh, react to the trade and item faction for Last Epoch what developer overview. Last Epoch is releasing the 21st of February, so it's creeping up really Holy soon. Holy shit. It's a great game if you're not familiar with it. Greetings, travelers. I'm Judd Kobler, founder of 11th Hour Games mm -hmm. and game director for Last Epoch. Today, we will be discussing the highly anticipated item faction system coming to the full release of Last Epoch on February 21st. A lot. We're very excited to release this innovative new way for players to participate in the deep and rewarding item hunt that Last Epoch offers in the way that they like to play. Yeah. By joining the Merchants Guild, you will be able to buy, sell, and trade items through the bustling bazaar. Or Okay, so you actually have an auction house. Let me see if I can get a, a, a visual on the auction house here. Okay. Okay, so you can just buy and sell things. Thank fucking God. Honestly, like, PoE is PoE, right? Like, I don't want to see PoE changed, but <laughs> I, I like just having an auction house. It makes it a lot easier bustling bazaar. Or, if you choose to join the Circle of Fortune, you'll set your sights to the stars and be able to bolster your item acquisition through prophecies and increased item drop rates. This system is the result of many years of debating what the ideal trade system should look like in a loot-based wow. action RPG, yeah. tons of collaboration with our amazing community, and many sleepless nights of game design meetings with our game design this team. This seems like a good idea. We found through extensive polling that players of action RPGs are split nearly down the middle when it comes to those who want their experience to heavily involve trade and an economy, and those who want to focus on finding items themselves or with close friends. We believe- I, I actually don't agree with that, because I think that almost every single casual player that isn't interfacing with like third-party places probably doesn't care about trading at all, or is positive towards it. I think that the only people who's, who trading negatively impacts their experience are the people that are on social media talking about it all the time. Because it would make sense that people that are looking to play the game more seriously would be doing that. Leave that through the item faction Yeah, the system. casuals aren't going to find the poll. And the casuals are what the auction house is for. Exactly. We'll deliver a tailored and exciting path to hunt for top tier items for both camps of players. At last Epoch 1.0, wow. you will join a faction once you reach the so great polished. mercantile city of Majelka. When you select to join the Merchant's Guild or the Circle of yeah. Fortune, a new interface will become available that will let you access details about your current status with your faction, what the fuck? known as reputation, how much favor you currently have, and what benefits your faction is currently providing you. Let's talk about these briefly. Repu so I guess maybe they have these, um... Oh! So one of them is the trade faction, and the other one is the solo self-found faction. I get it, because look at this. Exalted affix chance. Enemy drop chance. Yeah, look at this. In Merchant's Guild, trade set items. Trade exalted weapons. Oh, this is a great idea. This is awesome. Yeah, I remember hearing a little bit about this before. Yeah, I think this is a, a perfect idea. And also, like, here's another degree of insight that you might not notice here, is that... In order to rank up and everything, or sorry, in order to trade, you have to rank up. And so this doubles in function as also a preventative measure towards botting. Because now, like, you're not going to have bots trading exalted weapons because you have to get to level 5. These guys are really smart. Rotation within a faction is a core part of how... Especially as something that was coming so late... I did not think it would look this polished. Yeah, this is really smart. Like, cause it's, it's something they like kind of like decided so late. So basically, if you don't understand the TLDR yeah. of this, is that you can choose. And th this isn't solo cell found. It's solo. Solo found. Like, you can choose. Like, you can still play with other people, but you can't share the gear or you can trade freely. It depends what you want to yeah. do. Because obviously trade is super OP, right? So you can play with other people Trade's and you're not huge. able to trade with them. Uh, or, or maybe you're able to trade with the people that are there when it drops. Faction is going I, to... I think that's reasonable. I mean, like, people will always find ways to game the system. The only way that you can avoid having that is to make it to where you can't group with anybody. Because to the extent that you can group with another player... That other player can kill mobs for you. That other player can kill bosses for you. There's always going to be a way that you can do it. And fuck, even if you're playing solo, you can just pay somebody else to play your account. So again, um, the endless pursuit of integrity inside of a video game system is a waste of time.
be benefiting you on your journey. As a representative of that faction, yeah, you will continue hybrid, to but... increase your reputation by killing enemies and completing quests. For the Merchant Guild, this includes participating mm -hmm. in the bazaar and completing trades yeah. at your current yeah, level. Yeah, I'm going to 100% play trade. And for the Circle it's of Fortune, this means completing prophecies that will divine certain items after fulfilling the foretold conditions. Okay, so we have basically divination cards. Well, actually, these aren't divination cards. These are, wait, prophecies. Oh, yeah, they used to call these call that this in PoE. Remember you would talk to Navali and she would give you your prophecy and then you would go do it? So they just literally took this from PoE. Through earning reputation, you will ascend ranks within your faction, earning you unique benefits and options. Yeah, this is Once a good you idea. have earned reputation Yoink. within exactly. a faction, that reputation stays with your account in that game mode. This means if you rank mm -hmm. up a cycle character, all of your other cycle characters will have that rank when they join the same faction. Wow, it took Blizzard 15 years to figure that out. Okay, so it's account-wide progression. That's great. Fuck yeah. And contribute to that faction. I really like Yo, the like, there. how that insanely really cool. polished is this compared to, like, what it looked like when I first played it? Like, when I first played it in 2018, yeah. oh my god, it was a steaming pile of garbage. Well, I don't remember it being a steaming pile of garbage. I remember um, Quinn played this whenever it first came out, and it just looked like, um, it looked like a worse version of PoE in Lost Ark. That's nuts, that man. That reputation gain. You may switch factions and earn and maintain reputation with them with no penalty to your earned reputation with the other. Wow. There are currently 10 ranks to achieve in each faction, with the later ranks requiring quite a bit of commitment in order to obtain. Holy so, shit. So, while you have the freedom to change your faction at any time, yeah. you will want to pick a faction and stick with it to reach the most powerful like benefits that they have it, to yeah. offer. It is important to note that you can only be a member of one faction at any given time per character. Okay. And items earned with the benefits from those factions will require that you are aligned with them in order to use them. So ah, that's how they handle it. Because I was thinking in my mind, like, oh, okay, well, what if you just join the trade faction and you get all the good gear and then you just go over to the other faction? But then, yeah. So then it's all, like, watermarked with, like, it being from trade or being an outcome from playing on uh what do you call it on solo self found oh this is a really good idea players will want to stick to a faction that rewards their preferred play style next let's talk about favor favor is the currency you will right? earn while slaying enemies or completing quests for each of the factions favor is separate uh -huh. from reputation this currency can be used to either complete trades with the merchant's guild i see so to avoid bots so favor is like uh, Fions in Lost Ark, but they're earned through gameplay. I think that's what they're trying to do. Or acquire new prophecies from the Circle of Fortune. And if you find yourself with excess favor, you can always spin the wheel with the Faction Gambler. Item gifting to party members has been in the game. Oh, so they have it like um, Gwynnon in, uh, in a fucking in PoE with Expedition. Oh, wow. Holy shit. And you also had this with Diablo 2 as well. For a while now, and it isn't going anywhere. However, it's important to note that once you have joined a faction, items will start being tagged with the faction you were part of when yeah. they dropped. This means that while questing, if you are a member of the Merchant's Guild, and an item drops for you, right. that item will still be shareable with anyone who is in the party, like always. And... Honestly, like, obviously, I need to try it, but it, it looks like the single best trading system ever. It's like, this is one of those situations where as soon as you hear it, it's like, yeah, of course. Yeah, why hasn't it always been like this? Yeah, of course this makes sense. It looks like the single best yeah, trading obviously. system. It's so smart to tag the items. Pure and copy be this? available Maybe. to be sold, know. provided that you meet the rank requirements in the we'll Merchant's Guild Bazaar. Just be sure that the person you are trading it to also meets mm -hmm. the same faction requirements. The last use Wait, this but in PoE to make SSF a bit better? How would how? this work in SSF? Yeah, how Do you think Last Epoch will increase on price after Steam and launch? Or stay the same? I don't know.
I don't think it'll go. I don't think it's uh, how much is it? It's like twenty bucks, right? No, it's like forty dollars, right? Is is Lasty Puck forty dollars? Uh, I don't remember exactly. Thirty five is like thirty five dollars. That's a totally reasonable price. Like, I'm sorry, guys, but like, if you can't pay thirty five dollars for a video game, you need to fucking get a job. You need to figure out your fucking money. Like thirty five dollars. This is a game you're probably going to put a hundred hours into. Come on. Down case we wanted to solve for our it's friends who choose it. to play together and just want their own little trade group which brings us to resonances which are a new type of item that can be found when you are questing with your friends or party members this item can be used to enable an item to be gifted specifically to the player that you have a resonance with even if they weren't there when the item dropped we know a lot of times players will play with their friends and then later you'll be soloing a piece of content and the perfect item drops for your buddy well, thanks to the new resonance system... I want everybody to put me on your resonance, okay? So everybody needs to link to Asmongold for your resonance. So if you have anything dropped that I can use, you'll be able to give it directly to me, guys. No, I think this is a great idea. I really love this. This is super smart. The guys that are making this, fucking geniuses. You'll be able to give them that perfect item the next time you see them. Naturally. As those of you who love loot-based action RPGs know, trade and economy is a very complex and divisive issue to solve for when catering to a large player base and different play styles. It is. While keeping the item acquisition hunt. And I think this is perfect. Like, I cannot think of a single thing that they can do better than this. Remember what I was telling you about how good game developers figure out solutions to games that you could never imagine? This is an example of that. Feeling great. We can't wait to get your feedback on the system that we've come up with alongside you. And we this thank so you for good. all of your continued input and passion for helping make Last Epoch the next great action RPG. There is so much more to explore I'm with the item I'm 150% playing this on release. It's not even a question. You can take that to the fucking bank. I am 100% playing this on release. It's not even a question. System. Yep. So check out the deeper dive we have on our forums. And we look forward to, to seeing you in Last Epoch, February 21st. Wow. Right. Wow. Absolutely insane. You guys capping that after you just watched me uh, roll the credits for not the not Monster Hunter, but the DLC of Monster Hunter as well? You guys still capping? They've come such a long way, dude. That's so impressive. I can't wait it's to incredible. try it. This is amazing. I can't wait to try it. Fuck, this is good. Are you playing in launch? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, everybody, trading everybody's going to play keeps, launch. Seems kind of strange. Um, what, what does? I think it's... Trading with gold keems, seems kind of strange. <laughs> trading with gold seems kind of strange. It sounds like somebody's played PoE for the last 10 years. No, I think trading with gold makes a lot of sense. In, like, every other game besides PoE. And also, you're not just trading with gold. Um, I think it's a really good system. As long as there's enough gold sinks. I'm I'm very very impressed. You don't need gold sinks in a game that's seasonal, because the game will just reset itself. You need gold sinks in games that last more than like two years, or in situations where there's like a massive injection to the economy by some sort of unintended design. I think it's really good because now you have the option to like well you you will trade for items too. Mm-hmm. You'll trade for items, too, and there'll be other things to trade for. But yeah, 21st February, I'll definitely be there. Uh, oh, yeah. All right. I mean, it's not you guys question. enjoyed watching on YouTube as well. I want to let you know that McConnell told me to play this game in the year, I think, 2019, 18 or 20. McConnell has been trying to get me to play this game for that long. It looks super cool. I can't wait. I, I think it's so smart to like tag the items. Is but that yeah, good? Yeah. Thanks for watching. Sub if you liked the video, but more importantly, try to die less than I do. I'm going to be excited to play this game, man. I really am. This is fucking badass. I'm going to link you guys a video. I hope Zizrain does like a bigger breakdown on the game and he like really talks about it. So like basically this game, I'll link you guys a video. Make sure to give it a like. This is a good one. Um, Basically, Last Epoch is for people that PoE is too... Like, they feel like they missed the boat on PoE, and they feel like it's too hard to get into it, or maybe they think that it's too complex, but Diablo 4 is too easy. It's like that middle ground. And so, I'm really excited to play it. Like, I, 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 I love playing Diablo 2 Season 4, or Diablo 4 Season 2.
I thought it was great. I had fun the entire time I played the game. It was good. Uh, I enjoyed it. And I enjoyed playing it on release, too. It was all right. I mean, some things weren't great, but overall, I enjoyed it. Um, I also have loved playing PoE for 10 years. So I am super fucking excited about this. Yeah, I really am. Don't have time to watch 200 hours of PoE University video about crafting. Last Epoch is for you. Yeah. And so that's what it's for. Last Epoch still has tons of issues. Hopefully they solve them by launch. Yeah, I can't wait to play it and find out what they are. Yeah, I mean, I'm super excited. The campaign is long and boring, though. Um, With which game? Because I think that some people think that the... I don't mind doing the campaign in any of the ARPGs. I didn't mind doing it in Diablo 3. I had fun playing at least through the first or second act in Diablo 2. I never finished the game. I need to. I had fun doing it in Diablo 4. I had fun doing it in PoE. I have fun doing it in PoE every time. Maybe there's something wrong with me, but I enjoy doing the... the I like doing it because it gives me the ability to benchmark my character against different bosses. And I get, like, satisfaction of, like, oh, man, I'm playing this, like, really tanky marauder. You know, I can tank, like, the Dominus, you know, the Touch of God slams, you know, or, like, whatever. Like, so I, I, I like doing that. Now, I wouldn't like doing it for every single character, but I usually make one character a league, and I might not play every league. I play, like, every other league, right? So I don't play super casual or super hardcore, but as somebody who plays more casually... I have no problem doing the campaigns. 20k plus hours in PoE. Um, it's hard to find a good game like PoE, but not the same like. The only game is Last Epoch. Diablo 4, I finished in two weeks. Diablo 4 is 100% a casual player's game. And I want to make it abundantly clear that Diablo 4 being made for casuals is a good thing. And I don't think that's why it's bad. It's got nothing to do with it. Are you going to look up a build for Last Epoch or are you going to go in blind? Um, I don't know yet. Yeah, I, I think I'll probably do... I'll probably do what I do with PoE, where I do like half and half. I think that my, mainly I will go in blind. I think people want to see a blind playthrough, not me following a guide and doing every single thing that the guide tells me to do. So yeah, like I will probably go in blind. Like for me, because again, I will be playing it. Like I, I want to play, I want to play Last Epoch for a, like a, I, I personally want to, right? But I also am doing it for content as well. And so I want to do what you guys want to see as well. Will you play before launch? I didn't know it's so close to launch. I'll probably wait for the launch at this point. Respecting skills in Last Epoch is also much more manageable. Yeah, I think I'm going to wait for the launch and then play after that. I got to red maps with my own build that was like F tier and it felt like the game is fun. Yeah, yeah. I mean, getting, getting there with your own build is really hard. But if you can do it, it's fucking impressive. Uh, it really is.